Let us solve uh, problem number six. In the statement they have given that uh, there is a square, 60 mm square, you refer this. Its height is 20 mm. It is a square block of 60 mm. The height of that is 20 mm seen here. On that, it is kept. This is 40 square. So the base is 40 square. This is 20 square. The top is 20 square. This height is given as 60 mm. So it is a frustrum of a pyramid. What is the meaning of frustrum of a pyramid? You take any pyramid, join it to the apex, and then you cut it parallel to the base. Cut the, at some place, whatever height you want, 60 mm height he has given. So at 60 mm height, you cut the top face. That top face is seen as 20 mm. The bottom face is 40 mm. 40 mm square pyramid it is. That is cut. The cutting plane is parallel to the base plane. That is called the frustrum of the pyramid. Now, the isometric of this, if you want to draw, first we draw the isometric of the 60 mm square with a height of 20 mm. So what we do is draw a horizontal line and uh, 60 mm square. Draw a 30 degree line. Measure 60 mm there. ISO 60. Another 30 degree line. ISO 60 there also. ISO 60 ISO 60 here also. This angle is 30 degrees. This length is 60 mm. Now the height you take, that is the base uh, two sides only we have drawn. The other two sides I am not drawing because anyhow I have to rub afterwards. So instead of that, so I will take the height 20 mm, height 20 mm and draw the top two edges, just join them. The base, the back side, will be visible like this. You can draw that in thin line, a 30 degree line from here and another 30 degree line from here, they will intersect at some point. So th these two edges will not be fully visible, but whatever is the solid that is coming here, we have to rub that and only a small portion of that will be visible that we can make in the end. Now, what we do is, we can locate the base of this. Uh, this is the top face. At 20 mm height, I have made the top face here of the square block. Now, on that face, you see here, this is a 40 mm square. 40 mm square I have to draw. This is 60 already. If I want 40, I should reduce 10, 10 on either side. So, reduce 10 here and reduce 10 here. Mark 10 here and draw a 30 degree line. Mark 10 here and draw a 30 degree line. Similarly, mark 10 mm here and draw a 30 degree line. Mark 10 mm here and draw another 30 degree line. You are getting the base corners of this square of 40 mm. Similarly, you mark here 10 mm, draw a 30 degree line. 10 mm, draw 30 degree line. You are getting one more point. 10 mm inside draw a 30 degree line, here 10 mm inside, draw a 30 degree line. So you are getting one more point. Now why we should get these four points? This should be 40. The total is 60. So I am cutting off 10 on either side or removing 10 on either side so that the inside one will become 40 mm. Now if I join this, this will be 40 mm only. 40 mm only. Now what I do is, I take this 40 mm to this height also. Height is given height is 60 mm here. So I will go up by 60 mm from all these points. I will go up 60 mm. I will go up 60 mm from this point also. So from each of these points what I have done is I went up by 60 mm and I have got a square again of 40 mm side. 
but next i should get only 20 mm here top face is 20 mm so i'll get again i'll uh, change this top face top face again this is 40 i want 20 only therefore i reduce 10 here and 10 here so ta reduce 10 here reduce 10 here draw a 30 degree line 10 here draw 30 degree line you are getting 20 mm 20 mm 10 here and 10 here so this is 30 degree line parallel to this this is 30 degree line parallel to this so you get a parallelogram there so we have come inside 20 mm 10 mm here and 10 mm here i'll get another point here get this point here 10 mm here and 10 mm here so what happened is from each of the corner we went 10 mm inside 10 mm inside so that the remaining here inside one will be 20 this is 20 10 here and 10 here totally is 40 initially we had taken 40 so this 20 mm square we have to draw fully this 20 mm square is fully visible it is fully visible here then this 40 mm we have shown here only this much we have to draw the join this uh, top corner to the base corner this top corner to this base corner to this this top corner to this base the back side one to this here need not be shown because it is on the back side it will not be visible so now only beautification has to be done what beautification means it is only the remaining ones only we darken so that you get what is required only rub it rub it in the end after doing all this construction we remove these things as a beautification now what happens is in the end 